Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich here. Quick update on round two of severe storms. Yes, we had round one, which was a doozy. We knew it was going to be pretty strong. It was definitely likely maybe a tornado in Gaston, Cleveland County, but certainly widespread wind damage, 70 mile per hour winds over a huge area. Now we've got the next batch of storms that are lurking back to the west and there are so many severe thunderstorm warnings as well as tornado warnings i'm somewhat optimistic that overnight not that it's a great thing that these storms will kind of coalesce into one big area of thunderstorms and it'll become what we call an mcs which means it still poses a huge wind risk isolated tornado risk but really flash flooding becomes a big issue because of the heavy rain we had earlier these large complexes of storms tend to produce a lot of very heavy rain so that's likely going to roll in tonight into the wee hours of the morning let me show you the severe weather outlook here um, just a few changes we're still in that medium to high risk area um, after they scaled it back but now we're uh, they've adjusted a little bit but there is a risk that we could see some isolated tornadoes a five percent probability but tonight this is really going to be overnight into the early morning hours tomorrow we're going to stay in that medium risk so Let's kind of break down the timing of all this and it's probably a good time that you charge up your phone tonight make sure you unmute it have it next to your nightstand and make sure you have the ability to get warnings overnight because i really think at the very least we're going to have severe thunderstorm warnings possibly an isolated tornado warning but wind and flooding is going to be a big issue so as we go through the overnight here comes the storms into the mountains by midnight to 1 a.m by 2 a.m could be moving down through Hickory and the Shelby area and then back into the Gaston County area around 3 to 4 in the morning into Charlotte. Um, right there is the heart of this storm right around 4 a.m. moving across the area and again likely by this time straight line winds and flooding becomes the biggest issue but can't rule out an embedded tornado in there but remember the flood threat and the heavy or the strong winds I should say are going to encompass the whole area. If we see a tornado it's going to be an isolated spot so more of us will be impacted by winds and, and the flooding. That batch moves through and then we get into a little bit of a lull here um, tomorrow morning with maybe a few more showers mid to late morning and then things should improve pretty dramatically. I think really by Thursday afternoon we're going to see much better weather. Um, maybe clearing skies but at the very least the storms will be moving out. Things will be drying out and Friday looks pretty good as well. There will be some storms to the south. We'll have to keep a close eye on but right now it appears they would stay to our south as well. So overnight tonight, we want you to stay weather aware. Potential for tornadoes is still low, relatively speaking, but it is elevated, for, especially for nocturnal tornadoes or nighttime tornadoes. High winds, hail, and heavy rain are still very high threats for the overnight hours. So please stay weather aware, expecting this batch to come in between 1 a.m. and 4 a.m.